Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating admin coupons page. So let's see how can we create the coupons page for admin. So first of all, uh, let's create a model and migration for the coupon. For that, go to the command prompt and let's run the command php artisan make a column model a space model name uh, let's say model name is coupon and for creating the migration just add your dash m now hit enter okay model and migration created now switch to the project and uh, let's open the migration open migration so just go inside the database directory migration and from here let's open this one create coupon table migration and now uh, here let's add some column now uh, let's add here this column okay first code uh, and second type okay coupon type and third one is value and fourth one is card value and last one is expiry date okay also just import this db here so right here use uh, simply just add b and hit enter okay just import this one use illuminate support facades db okay now save this file this is for storing the code and this is for storing the fixed or percent type okay and here it's contain the value and this contain the card value okay and this contain the expiry date okay now save this and uh, let's migrate this migration so go to the command prompt and uh, uh, just run the command php artisan migrate hit enter migration done now run the application so write here php artisan serve okay now switch to the project and uh, go to the admin controller so just close this and now uh, go inside the app directory http controllers and let's open the admin controller and now here let's create a new function so right here public function and function name coupons and inside this uh, first of all let's fetch all the coupons okay so right here create a variable here coupons is equal to model name coupon okay then column column order by and fetch the coupons uh, according to their expiry date okay so write here the column name expiry underscore date okay and the order type and your descending so write your de sc okay and then uh, add here the paginate method okay paginate and inside this is pass here the 12 okay and then return a view okay admin dot coupons and inside the compact just pass this coupons okay let's import this model so here just try to use app slash models slash coupon okay and now save this now let's create the route for this coupons so go to the web.php uh, routes web.php and inside the admin route group let's create here route get add here the URI admin slash coupons and then con uh, controller name admin controller okay then column column class add here the function name which is this one coupons and 
now give the route name so right here admin dot coupons now save this file now let's create uh, this view so go to the resources directory views admin and uh, here let's create a new file coupons dot blade dot php okay and now let's let's extend the layout here so right here extends layout name which is layouts dot app sorry admin and now add the section section name which is content and now close this end section okay and now here uh, let's add the content from the template file so go to the template directory and uh, go back and go inside the admin folder and from here let's open coupons.html file in text editor okay so open with vs code all right now let's find the main tag so right here main Okay, this one main content section just collapse this main content inner div okay so just this one and copy select and copy and paste inside this uh, coupons content section okay just paste here now now let's add here the dashboard link so right here double curly bracket route and route name admin dot index okay and uh, inside the body let's add here the for each and the rate for each directive coupons as dollar coupon and now cut this in for each and paste after the closing ti tag here now display here the ID sequence number of this one right here coupon arrow ID here code dollar coupon arrow code then type so let's copy this and paste here change here the column name which is type value with the dollar sign okay so without dollar sign coupon code uh, coupon arrow value and uh, Add here the cart value, cart underscore value, and then display at the expiry date. Expiry date. Okay, before the cart value, just display at the dollar sign. Now, uh, inside this uh, the blue zp pagination div uh, just display here the pagination link okay so for that just write a double party packet dollar coupons arrow the links and inside this link just pass here the pagination pagination column column bootstrap dash five okay now save this okay now uh, go to the layout file so just go inside the layouts folder and open admin.blade.php file and here let's add the link for the coupons so just remove this and add here double curly bracket route 
and route name which is admin dot tokens okay and now let's check this so let's just to the browser and refresh the page now just click on coupons and you can see here the coupons page so this time there is no any record uh, stored in the table coupons table uh, that's why it's empty in next video we will see how can we add the coupon okay from here so in this way you can create the admin coupons page so that's all about creating the admin coupons page thanks for watching this video uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe my channel thanks for watching